online and be a part of WCTC's real-time talk. Like 1450 WCTC on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at 1450 WCTC. Jersey Central with Burt Barron. Think we could listen to the radio or something? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 708, welcome to hour number two of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. How are you? It is Burt coming up sometime between now and and 7.30, you're going to have a chance to win some tickets. Rutgers football this Saturday, the home game against Eastern Michigan. 3.30 kickoff at High Point Solution Stadium. We'll play some Rutgers trivia for your chance to win four tickets to see Rutgers football in action this coming weekend. So stick around for your chance to win. Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. It's time I learned about how this Draft Kings works. There's something about a billion-dollar giveaway that they're doing. And I want to get some more information about how this works. And joining me now on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline, real pleased to be joined by the CRO and also the co-founder of DraftKings. We have Matt Kalish, who was with us here on WCTC. Good morning, Matt. It's Burt Barron. How are you? I'm good, Burt. How are you? These are exciting times for you guys, huh, with the uh, football season kicking off tonight? Oh, yeah. Today's the best day of year for us. Uh, Everybody looks forward to the start of the football season, and we're doing – you know, to celebrate the first day coming up on Sunday this weekend, we're doing the billion dollar perfect lineup challenge. And so the way it works on DraftKings is that you draft a lineup of nine athletes that are playing this weekend at NFL. Okay. And if you manage to put together the best possible team, you'll win a billion dollars. A billion dollars. That's a billion with a B this is now, right? Yeah, that's correct. It's wow. actually never been done in the history of DraftKings. You know, we've done five NFL seasons, and no one's ever made the perfect lineup. So we wanted to put it out there as a challenge this year. So it's basically, and forgive me, I'm a complete novice at this, Matt. So please, if I ask a question that like a six-year-old will know the answer to, I apologize. I basically go through, and I want to get like the best possible players who are going to have a great performance in the games this weekend, right? So... Uh, right away, I want a quarterback who's going to throw a lot of touchdowns. I want a running back who's going to get a lot of yards. And I want a wide receiver who's going to get a lot of yards, right? Yeah, that's right. Everything works on DraftKings around fantasy scoring. Okay. So as the athletes that you draft play in the game and they gain yards and catch passes and things like that, you earn more and more fantasy points. And uh, the goal is to really earn as many points as possible with your nine-player roster that you that you select on the site. Gotcha. So, uh, there's one lineup every week that's the perfect lineup. It's the best possible team you could have constructed, and really the objective here is if somebody can put that lineup together, they'll win a billion dollars this weekend. I'm thinking somebody could do this, Matt, because it seems like every year there's always this one person somewhere in the country that does the bracket for the men's basketball tournament and picks all the upsets and picks all the games, and like we'll run the table with this bracket. So, uh, what is the possibility? Have you guys discussed? Uh, you know, what are the chances of someone actually nailing this billion-dollar challenge? You know, it's really hard to say. Every week, it seems like somebody comes out of nowhere, some unexpected athlete, and performs really well and finds their way onto the perfect lineup, and that kind of spoils it for everyone. So. Uh, I think it's definitely possible, and if things fall the right way for somebody, I think it could absolutely happen, but it hasn't happened yet, so we're really hoping to see that this weekend. How much of what you guys do, Matt, uh, how much of it is skill, how much of it is science, and how much of it is just pure dumb luck? It's got to be like the perfect combination of all three, I think. Yeah, I think fantasy players would tell you that they're very skilled. I mean, they're going through pounds and pounds of data. They're watching all all these games week in, week out, studying matchups. um, And that's how they find their advantage and how they compete at the game. So I think people that put in a lot of energy who try really hard to learn the the athletes and their stats and the matchups and all of that stuff do really well in our game. Gotcha. Uh, The big four sports, uh, Matt, football, baseball, basketball, hockey. Uh, Are you guys involved in all those and have uh, the leagues embraced what, uh, what, what DraftKings is all about? Yeah, we have over 10 sports now. So we built up starting with, you know, Major League Baseball in 2012. We added NFL, basketball, hockey, all the big sports. But we've also added NASCAR, mixed martial arts, uh, esports, you know, a, a huge variety of sports at this point we offer and something for everyone, really. And I think um, the leagues have really embraced it because they see the lift in all of the consumption of their content. 
that fantasy sports creates. So all the different uh, sort of fans out there that build lineups, they have athletes on every different team throughout the league. They want to watch every game to see how that goes. And because of that, I think the leagues have really embraced drafting with fantasy sports in general. It's pretty awesome the way people are into this. I mean, I hear about uh, people that I know, Matt, who are, you know, uh, reserving, uh, you know, ballrooms and hotels because they have to have their fantasy draft uh, coming up over some weekend. And uh, all these people come out with their laptops and their statistics and they just they, they just hole up in this th- these hotel rooms for like days and days at a time and just crunch numbers and come up with lineups and work on putting to get this perfect fantasy lineup together. My biggest fear is that I'm going to try this and I'm going to love it so much that it's going to become my obsession. You probably see this with a lot of people, right? <laughs> yeah, it definitely <laughs> happens. The good thing about DraftKings, though, is it's not like the season-long leagues where you have to play every week. You know, you can download the app if you want to play the, the billion-dollar perfect lineup this weekend and then not play again for a month. It's totally fine. You know, you can pick it up and, and drop it as you feel like. So the weekly leagues, I think, are much more casual in that sense and much more sort of uh, less commitment, I would say. Yeah, maybe that's uh, that's what I need to do. Uh, uh, different states, uh, Matt, it seems like, are looking at DraftKings and what it's all about. And, you know, certain states have certain conditions as to what people can do. Uh, talk about New Jersey. Is anybody that lives in New Jersey is able to play every aspect of your game uh, with what you guys offer with DraftKings? Yeah, absolutely. New Jersey, New York, everybody can come on. They can access the full site, compete in any contest they want. It's uh, it's really great. I think New Jersey became the 16th state, actually, to pass legislation around fantasy sports this year. So mm-hmm. it's really exciting for us, a great state, and uh, it's really excited for the NFL opening day. Good. Hey, maybe this billion-dollar winner will be somebody that comes out of Jersey. I think that would be pretty awesome, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, how does someone uh, get involved, and how do they get started with this, Matt? It's pretty quick. You download the DraftKings app from the App Store, and once you set up an account, which takes about 30 seconds, you can immediately click on the link to enter the billion-dollar perfect lineup. It should take one or two minutes to get it. Awesome. Awesome. We'll give it a try. And uh, for anybody that doesn't get Tom Brady, uh, who's your second-best uh, selection? Is it Phil Rivers? He used to be big for, for throwing touchdowns. Who else is out there that puts up some good numbers? Oh, I mean, everybody on DraftKings is salary adjusted. So if you take a a sleeper quarterback, they're less expensive on the site. It's really it's really a reward you get for digging deeper in the pool. So I think everybody's in play on DraftKings. So that's what makes it great. Gotcha. I love how this works. Matt Kalish, uh, the CRO and co-founder of DraftKings. Thanks for the time this morning, and and good luck. Enjoy this football season, and uh, thank you again for the time. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Uh, all right, you as well. Thank you. All right, Matt Kalish, the CRO and co-founder of DraftKings.